I went live. Oh, good, dude. My pleasure. Yash, are you you are addicted to this game? Am I? What's my stream title? Hi, Sam Robin. How are you? Once I'm addicted, I'm just really enjoying it. Fuck, that's not what I got to change it. I'm slapping. What? Extreme elements. What are you guys slurping? I'm in the water. Okay, um, I'm going to switch reality. What are you guys slurping on? So we just got, this lady just got fired. What the fuck is that? What is that emote? Oh, dog. Okay, this is bad. Ah. How many bullets do you take? Invincible beast? This little hole. This is where the dogs lived. What am I doing? Go to Valhalla Nursing Home. Okay. Valhalla Nursing Home. Ranger Cabin. Mm, I could do an entire detour. And I will. I'm going to. I think it's something up here though. Yep. More of those kids' lunch boxes. 
Just then I suddenly slammed into something that felt like a sturdy, well-built brick wall. I almost fell, but a strong arm grabbed me by the waist. I hardly knew what was happening. A voice reached through my confused fine haze like an outstretched hand. A gruff, manly voice, the deep, reassuring voice assured me, Don't you worry, miss. I've got this. I looked up just in time to see the monster barreling through the forest at us. Just then, a blast. The monster went down like an elderly person who had lost their cane. I looked up at my savior. He had a handsome face with, a, with dark hair. He wore a stylish tweed jacket and held up a smoking pistol. Looks like I got here just in time, he said. He smiled at me, and my heart fluttered like a bird. I'll say, I thought to myself. Is this written by the waitress lady who's in love with Alan Wake? This character kind of sounds like... A gruff, manly voice. Hmm, it could be. These could be left out by the, the waitress girl. These fucking old geezers on the radio, dude. Another one? Ooh. And another lunchbox. I was going to leave you some cookies, but I was worried an animal would get into them, so I didn't. Okay. Talking to me? It's hot. What's the temperature right now? Twenty four degrees. I can hear someone over there. Come on, I can cross this. Oh, so I can't get out here because it's flooded. Ah! Okay. Now we've got some fucking demon guys here. Great.
Okay. Those red dot guys. Wait, only? Okay, nice. You just gotta hit that back. Gotta hit that back right on. Resident Evil House. Tor and Odin claim to be my family. I know Logan and I never lived here. But I don't know enough about my family history to say they're not my relatives. Mom only ever said my grandfather was bad news. The less I knew about him, the better. Saga had slid into a nightmare. A growing amount of evidence said her daughter was dead. Saga couldn't accept that. Wake said it could be undone. But Wake was gone, in the custody of the Federal Bureau of Control. Casey, her only ally, was gone too. She was alone. Agent Estevez had pulled rank on her, stonewalled her, shut her out of her own case. Uh -oh. Saga refused to give up. She needed answers. Tor and Odin Anderson would have some. A family visit then. No one could blame her for that. Saga was trapped in a horror story. It was manifesting itself around her like the darkness of a mental illness, pushing her deeper and deeper. I made a mess. It's okay though. Just cables everywhere. About a thousand cables. Did you install Fortnite, Tori? Oh, good. Just getting the... Oh! Saga? What's up? Hello, Rose. Thought I'd swing by, see the family. How many gig is it? Not a bad time, is it? Oh, no. I was just, you know, tidying the, uh... The, um... I'm so glad you're visiting again, Saga. But Odin and Tor can't see anyone today. Um... I was just on the phone with Tor. He invited me over. Sorry. They had a little too much fun on our trip to Watery and need to rest. I need an excuse to get in and talk to them. That's too bad. Okay if I say hi to the other residents before I go. Um... Sure. They always love visitors. Come on in. Not smart to be outside when the sun goes down. I love the architecture. I always dreamed of living in a haunted Victorian manor. <laughs> you say that like it's your first time. These are here. your lunch boxes. But an unknown architect for the Finnish filmmaker Thomas Zane, the matter seeped in architect artistic history. Barry Wheeler wrote this.
there's another lunchbox. These are her lunchboxes. And the fanfic is Alan Wake fanfic, just like I thought it was. Sorry. It's all good. Wait, is this someone like cat ears or devil horns? <laughs> Naughty Ellen. That's funny. All right, so they're hers. I assume, right? They're the, the this like this this ladies. Old gods of Asgard. So Odin and Thor had abandoned everything. Why is it? Oh shit, this coffee is shit. Yeah, but can you just drink a regular bad coffee? Oh, I did. My perfect morning is ruined. That's all because of your shit coffee. If only we could have good coffee. Hey, what? what's that sound? <gasps> what's going on with this video? Ilmo, look, it's the Bright Falls blended organic coffee from Old Deer Diner. Oh wow, I've heard that the health benefits of this coffee include increased energy, improved eyesight, better love making, and deeper connection to animals. With a thermos full of hot coffee close at hand, you are always prepared for what comes next. How does it taste, Yako? Oh, he's wearing a suit. I feel like a million bucks. Thanks, old dear diner coffee. Bright Falls Blend Organic Coffee is brewed with care right here in the Pacific Northwest from coffee beans that are sourced locally in Puerto Rico. Try it today at Coffee World and the old deer diner and don't forget to try the delicious brunch special this month only for deer fest oh thought i'd lost you sorry Here's i got distracted some of our residents, or as i like to call them our little vikings look who swung by everyone our little Move vikings it. clothes oh it's fun we have a visitor where are your clothes I'm, I'm headed back to the sauna with Artie. <sighs> Just another day in Valhalla. I should really get back to work, Saga. But feel free to spend some time with Mandy May and Norman here. It's good for them to have company. Tor and Odin are here somewhere. Need to find them. I try and go. Do either of you know where I could find Tor and Odin? Odin is sleeping upstairs. 
But your grandpa's been acting crazy. He got electrocuted when he smashed the telephone. Don't make up stories. Tor went loopy and smacked himself in the head with that hammer he's always carrying around. Tor is hurt. Something's wrong with him. Was Tor hurt badly? He never let go of that hammer when he got electrocuted. It looked like a bolt of lightning hit him. Wham! Zap! <laughs> Thank goodness Blum took the hammer away from him. It's not Tor's hammer, no matter what he keeps saying. <laughs> Blum has his moments, even if he is a Russian. Andy May, you can't say stuff like that. That's some fascinating network, Mandy May. What's your inspiration? Oh, uh, I don't know. It is what it wants to be. Uh, taking a break from making those little ornaments for Rose. Do you knit? I dabbled when I was pregnant. Socks, mittens, the usual stuff. Oh, how about knitting me some underwear? One more crew, <laughs> Norman, and I'll put this needle in your ear. Tell me more, constant towel man. Are you uh, planning to go watch the Deer Fest parade, Mandy May? And sit in a crowd of noisy drunks all day? I'd rather stick this knitting needle in my ear. He really wants to put that needle in an ear. Ati, this is your home. You don't need to keep cleaning. I take that mug away, but I know you'll just find it again. Girl, girl, what a once after being told no. Why rest when you are poor to work? <laughs> hey, uh, and you know Mr. Blum doesn't like it when you take his work clothes. Why don't you go pick a song from the jukebox? Yes, box holy ray. Just thinking about it makes my dance foot waggle. <laughs> Look at that, I know. <laughs> so I've knocked over this chair. Can I play this? Where's the... There's no snare drum. Oh, there. That's a weird setup. A bizarre setup. Name won't make the man worse. Even the Swedish name. I'm Art. Anything good on that jukebox? We try to do good, but only prime comes out. <laughs> Music from my Swedish brothers. Old gods of Asgard. Play snare with knee while doing double kick? Vikings. Do you know where I could find the Andersons? Oh, you can never know where. Only a seaman can know that. But even the seaman can know everything. Fair enough. Thanks anyway. Were you in the band? Minak? No, no. Merkele satana en olven. Not so much sweet that it fills the whole stomach. But, uh... We have shared the stage or two. You said I'd been here before. When was the last time I visited? Let's see exactly what she thinks she remembers. Oh, it's been years. We were all so sad when you left. After the accident? Oh, fuck this. My daughter didn't know. <laughs> You're remembering wrong. She's at home watching Night Springs with her father. Mm hmm. <laughs> it's useless. Weird reaction. I stop the story. Mandy made the accident. Tor is hurt. 
Why didn't you mention that earlier? Oh, you mean the little bump on his noggin? Uh, it's nothing. The residents like to exaggerate. Uh-huh. I need to check Tor's room. All right. Sorry, Saga. That area is for staff only. Hmm. Look over here. This is Tor's room. Okay. More moonshine. Was this a drunken rampage? This place is a mess. And Tor's not here. I need to keep looking. Huh. Alright. Let's uh, figure this out. On our board. Excuse me, miss, but you don't see me barging into your room while you're performing mental and physical strengthening exercises, do you? I thought not. Sorry. Don't mind me. And now right. I have to start over. I, would, I want to just, like, steal your bullets. Sorry about that. Odin's in bad shape. He was drunk and watery. That's... Or is this something more serious? That woman in the painting looks like mom. Was I and... born here? Anderson Farm. Or is this more though. of a story? Drink from the cup of the wise one for wisdom to be a seer. I gave up my eye in the light of the moon to shine and see the many worlds to madness and beyond. Across the dark dreaming sea, the branching paths of the tree, I gave up my eye so many times. We have lived and died and been reborn. We have met here before and I will keep on meeting still. And we'll keep on meeting still. With four time, I gave it to Mamiya to drink from the well of wisdom. 1976, I took it out myself to see, drank the moonshine. 1988, he who stands on the threshold took it from me. The time will come again to be writ again. Are you telling me these cunts are like actually Thor and Odin? Can you hear me, Odin? <laughs> Oops. Odin Abison, can you hear me? I need to ask you a couple of questions. 
Odin? He's in no shape to talk. Odin's in rough shape. What happened to him? These are our twilight years. There's darkness in the water. We have our little tricks. And so do you. What's happening? It's never felt this way before. You're all grown up, Saga, dearest. And you're back just in time. The forces of darkness are eating away at us. We're too old and weak. You have the power in you, like all Andersons. What was that? He wasn't a projection. Odin was really here. We were connected. Are they really my family? Is that why this is happening? What the hell? I've never connected to someone like this in my mind place before. How is this happening? I was glad to answer your call. Vikings are born travelers. You are a seer. You can see the truth. But your grandpa will want to tell you more himself. Wouldn't want to steal his thunder. Tor is in danger. You can save him. Is my mind place more than just a mental technique? Sometimes my mind place even baffles me. Is this the reason? Is there something more than intuition behind it? One thing at a time. Tor is in trouble. Once I help him, he can maybe tell me more. You said Tor is in danger. What's going on? Darkness is drawn to the spark. Tor only thinks with his hammer, never his head. The Prince of fucking Darkness is making a comeback. Tor is marked by darkness. I can feel it. Is he in his room? It wants to take him, and then take me. Beware of Cynthia Weaver. Bad things happen in the wellness center. Don't let her drag him under, Saga. Does Prince of Darkness refer to Scratch? Is Tor becoming taken? I need to find him before it's too late. Stop this before more people get hurt. I found a photograph of you with the cultists. How are you involved? We're too old for this brand of crazy. But we'll drink with anyone who's offering. The cult's been on our asses to join for years. But we already have our band. And those damn fools don't know what they're dealing with. No wonder they want a pair of legends. Tor and Odin are not part of the cult. The cult thinks there's something special about Tor and Odin. I'm starting to see it too. I found Wake's clicker. What can you tell me about it? Cut off from Tom's line. Sorry, I'm burping like crazy. Good work getting the light switch. The light switch is like an amp. You can play rock and roll without it, but you won't blow anyone away. Art, like Tom's writing, can change the world. But the light switch will crank that change to 11. The clicker has the power to change the story. To save Logan. This confirms what Wake said. I can't let Scratch get his hands on the clicker. By Tom's writing, Odin must mean Wake. All right. That's pretty interesting. Sorry, did you turn the aircon on? Cynthia Weaver, who is that? It's raining? Oh, really? Who's Cynthia Weaver? 
tomorrow will be eggs, toast, grapefruit, orange juice, tea, Wait, coffee. Wait, are you Cynthia Service Weaver? stops at 9, lunch at 11. Tomorrow is borscht with oyster crackers. The other choice is stewed beef. I will have borscht, cranberry juice, or water. No, it's Donna. Cynthia's on the third floor. It came out in bubbles. Is that possible, Tori? pastures now. This will put a smile back on your face, my dear. Sorry? Oh my fucking god! She's one of them. There must be an overlap here somewhere. Ah! Uh, fuck's sake! Motherfucker! Need the key. Oh, it fucking like tenses my neck when that happens, eh? Oh. Oh, this is where you're doing the radio show. The government built a bunker here during World War II to watch the ocean for Axis navies and who knows what else. Ever since they sealed the bunker, it's been a hot spot for teens. The Ocean View Motel and Spa, they call it. Ironically, I believe. They go there to enjoy their beer and their vapes and electronic cigarettes. Ridiculous. The future is... <clears throat> so, the teens would drink there. Do All right, I'm just going to leave them to it. That isn't appropriate content for you listeners at home, but the bunker has a tendency to flood. I can't believe that fucking old lady scared me like that. Swirly room. Arty. Hmm. Andy May. I'm allowed in here. Oh. Mavi, how are you? Oh, sippy, thank you. Thanks, Mavi. How are you? Nothing else in here. Been warned about Cynthia. Tired? Oh no. Oh, Mavi, I had um. Back during. Did I tell you this already? During PAX, uh, one of my friends from work went down and saw your booth. I sound sick. Yeah, I've been sick all week. I'm actually on the mend. Um, I'm actually on the mend. But my nose and throat is still blocked up. Do they play it? 
I don't think they did. They said there was a lot of people around the booth, though. There was a lot of people hanging out and looking at it. But I think they had a look. Yeah, they were saying that it's, yeah, it sounded like it was really good. And it sounded like your spot was really good. It was like near the front of the center and everything. They were very impressed. That's sick, dude. Congrats. Hell yeah, that's fucking sick. I don't have the key. Might try and make it down to, um, Pax next year. I wouldn't mind going. Getting in is forbidden. Oh, fuck, for hey. Safety. Hey. Time is long for those who wait. But in the end, stand to thanks. Sheesh, <laughs> didn't see you there. Uh. What do you want me to do? Can I go in your room? What are you reading? Lady of the Light. Yeah, if we end up coming next year, we'll let you know, Mavi. Definitely should meet up and catch up and shit. Who's talking down there? Oh, is that the radio guy? Norman, put some clothes on. What if that towel slipped? No one wants to see you. What's in the wellness center? Oh, that's where we provide our health services to the residents. We have a rehab facility, dining area, and beds for special round-the-clock care. To stay young, stay limber. The clicker makes Wake's writing change reality. Can I trust him with that much power? Not sure I have a choice. Tor is not okay. Something is definitely going on here. Not 
remembers. Hmm. Tor is in the wellness center, <coughs> isn't he? No, he's. Well, yes, but you really shouldn't go in there right now. I'm gonna need you to unlock the door. This is FBI business. It's just there's some things that uh. <sighs> Yes, okay. I'll let you in. Okay. Thank you, Rose. Artie's back down here. Watch out. For puddles. You can hurt yourself in the dark. Right. Um, mm. thanks. That lady is a walking red flag. Enjoying the game? Yeah. Have you played the original one in this? The first one? I need bolt cutters. I haven't? Oh, you should. Uh, if you like Remedy, you know. Oh, what just happened? On your list, yeah, fair. Okay, what's going on in here? Dark. Definitely feels chill and safe in here. Be ready, Saga. Game looks really good, yeah, for sure. It it looks fucking really good. I'm not even playing on like ray tracing and shit. I've seen footage of it with like the fucking Alana PS player was enjoyable. Yeah, no, the the footage I've seen with like the what's it called? I'll just look at the settings. The path trace lighting looks crazy. My computer definitely can't handle it, but um, hello, Tor. It's Saga Anderson. Here. Rose and me found Mr. Anson knocked out on the floor by phone. He's what is that sound? Bad, but he tore off his bandages. Why? Odin said Tor needs help. But from what? Is he turning into a Taken? You know, I find weird nudity in games, but this game did it right. Like the guy at the beginning. Yeah. Um... Doesn't look right. Fermented souls. Nah, I haven't played that.
What is it good? What is it? Old school Resident Evil. Tor is bewitched. Uh oh. Tor Anderson had lightning in his veins. This was rock and roll, baby. Opening scene has tits. Oh my god. Tor would do anything she'd ask. Tor deserved this. Tor wanted this. She wanted the song. A gift. He had to get it for her. Afterwards, it was too late. Tor swung his hammer in frustration. The spark was gone. Black liquid clogged his mind. A bad trip. Tor I wrote it was. down. He was strong. He'd never be taken. But the darkness could still drown him. Tor needed to warn someone. It was all happening again. Tom was back. Coming back. Tom would need help too if he was going to make it. But the brothers were too old to stop at this time. Tor had called someone. Someone who could help. The name escaped him. Drowned beneath dark water. Mm. Okay. Concerning. All tangled up here. Game Awards votes? Yeah, I have. There he is. Fucking God. An electric lock. Looks like it's controlled remotely. Okay. Toilet? Anyone in there? Lum's workroom, private. A security computer. Moons. Interesting. Yeah, most of the games I voted for game of the year were <laughs> just Baldur's Gate, but I think I voted for a few other things. That sound. Haven't really played it. Oh, really? Are you going to? Doggy. <coughs> Sorry. Mm. The Koskala brothers aren't just in the cult. They're its damn leaders. Hmm. Not surprising. You don't want to play it by yourself? I don't... Honestly, I don't understand how people are playing it with other people. I feel like I'd be annoyed. 
like uh, people making decisions that I didn't approve of. <laughs> you know what I mean? Do you understand D&D? Yeah, yeah, yeah. left the wellness center so what is locked half an hour throwing each other then like 10 minutes of progression repeat right so it's just yeah nope i feel like your serious playthrough you'd do by yourself tor is being targeted he needs help What's is this gonna unlock all the doors? It's a password. And a warrant, technically. But hey, desperate times. Ooh, there's stuff in here. This door needs a knob. Hmm. A gun. Someone puts Shadow Heart in their inventory? Wait, how the fuck are you doing that? I would like to play, um... I would like to play through, um... It with Kana and Tori. I think that would be a fun playthrough. It would be a fun thing to maybe, like, stream. Oh, here's something. Oh, no, I've looked at this. That's still locked. Okay. Oh, she's dead, right? Investigation. Wait, didn't I look at that? Oh, maybe I need to do more of my... Yeah. The computer controlled the door that Tor went through. Oh, the calendar probably is the password. Letter setting initiation is the day after the new moon. The new moon. Day after the new moon. New moon. Seventeenth. But what month? Like each other's boulder skate session would be good. Oh, so it'll be 17th of the 8th, I think. Oh, is it going to be American and I have to do it? How do I backspace? Oh. Is it American, you reckon? I'll do it Australian first. No. They did it Australian for me, cool. Right. Doors are open. Cool. What else is in here? Mail. I'm a little doorknob that's out of place, but solve these clues and you can trace the way back to your private space. I met you at the greet. I meet you at the greet inside a bright glassy cage where the pretty flowers bloom.
All right. Let's go. Cafeteria. Need to go in here. Shit. Whoa. What the fuck is going on with you? What the hell, dude? <laughs> What the fuck is this? Can you die? Can you die? What the fuck was that? That was weird. <coughs> I need to catch up with Tor. This must have been Tors. Fuck me. <sighs> I hate it. What? I can hear like moaning as well. lady well fucking hell it's 1988 a face-off between deities on the rim of cauldron lake high above its dark waters thunder roared the old gods facing something even more powerful, something harder to define even, or changing the perspective, raving lunatics all, caught up in the frenzy of a shared delusion. The old gods, the corsairs of the Sea of Night, and the Dark One who yearned to stand in between, who had always stood in between, who would soon stand in between. We help you, you stay away from our family, Tor Anderson snarled over the thunder. Yes. Until you all come to me, came the answer. That's never gonna happen, shouted Odin. I will take this as collateral, shall you remember our deal, said the Dark One. Blood arched from Odin's face as he fell to his knees. Lightning hit the dark figure on the cliff, and with that, he was gone. Tor rushed to his brother. Are you alright, bro? Effectively blind in that moment, the eye patch covering his left eye, his hand over the now empty socket of his right, blood oozing out of it. Odin cursed. The bastard took the wrong eye. I 
I need bolt cutters. I need bolt cutters. Okay. Well, shit. Hey. What was that? Where did Tor go? What on earth do you mean, Sokka? Tor is resting in the wellness center. Remember? What? We both saw him go into the pond. <laughs> okay. Are you fucking with me? Or, or is this a story again? Now, now. Let's cool it with the language. She's clearly lying to me. Why? Let's figure out this fucking lady, eh? Watch Tor go into the pond. Why is she lying to me? The secret mission for Alan's number one fan. The hero will say Wake has returned. We're all characters in his story. Gee whiz. I'm not his fucking character. But I can use that phrase to make Rose stop lying to me. Wake has returned. Cynthia took Tor. What happened to her? When the darkness touches your head, your bookshelf gets shuffled. I put her lamp in the shoe box. What do you call a lamp lady without her lamp? Is Rose talking about Cynthia or herself? Or both? Rose. Um, Wake has returned. My God. You're the hero. You're here to save Alan. Oh, I feel so silly for trying to keep you out of the wellness center. I locked Tor and Gale in there after they lost it, and I didn't want you getting hurt. <laughs> Before I forget, here's the page Wake told me to give you. Oh, and you'll need my keys to get around. <laughs> <laughs> this fucking character. <laughs> Saga jabbed the selector on the jukebox, the missing record in its place. Saga couldn't have found it without Odin's help. A light bloomed in through the garden window. The horror story beat me to Tor. I have to rescue him. The key to this overlap is an old Gods of Asgard record. Odin will know more. Saga jabbed the selector on the jukebox, the missing... Page mentions a missing record. Do you know where it is, Odin? Driven by passion, raging like a storm. Your grandfather made the song to apologize to your mother, Freya, and to you. Tours like a storm. Your mother did the right thing, leaving with you. Even if it broke your grandfather's heart. And mine. Listen to the song, Saga. It's all there. Tor only had one record made. He keeps it in the museum. Odin knows my mom's name. He's saying my mom took me away when I was still a baby. Plausible. Stay on task. The record is in the museum. What happened to Tor just now? Cynthia took him. Ugh, I knew someone was messing with Tor's head. There's something wrong with the water here. Pipes acting up, black stuff coming out. <sighs> Cynthia's probably behind that too. Does Cynthia have any connection to the cult of the tree? Oh no, she's way too frail for that. But she used to be this town's best defense against the forces of darkness. Well, after Alan. But I guess it finally got her. Wake is in custody. How have you been in contact with him? He leaves me messages in funny places, like the newspaper, books. Once he even wrote to me with a cloud. If it's something really important, he tells me in a dream. Okay. And what does he say to you with these clouds? 
Ways I can help him, how I can stay safe, good dinner recipes, ways to kill Taken, lots of stuff. I've been finding some pages of writing lately too, so he must be working on a new book. Exciting. You need to get the residents out of here. It's not safe. Oh, this kind of stuff rolls right off their backs. They've lived very rich lives, very resilient. But I already told everyone to wait at the designated muster point on the front porch. <laughs> we run drills every few months. I'm so proud of them. I'm impressed by how prepared you are. We're pretty used to this kind of thing. You're the one leaving those Alex Casey lunchboxes around, aren't you? Mm. Guilty. They were the only Allen-related containers I could find online. He told me to destroy the Taken around town, and I needed some way to stash my gear. I even recruited Mandy May to make knitwork decorations to mark the sites. The stashes are for you, too. You being the hero and all. Thanks. I already have been. Wake tells you how to kill Taken? Oh, sure. <laughs> You're the hero, so you must know all about it. All you need is a strong light, and then your conventional methods of extreme violence. Simple stuff. <laughs> the tough part is hiding the bodies. I honestly don't know how to react to this. <laughs> just do my part, sister. <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna go to the toilet. I'll be right back. Good luck with your hero stuff, partner. I've got plenty of exciting things to take care of for Alan. You're welcome, Alan. I've got to head out for a special mission for Alan soon. You've got things covered here. When you read Alan's work, do you hear his voice in your head, too? Oh, such a beautiful voice. <sighs> Anything else I can do to help the hero?
Sorry, that took slightly longer than expected. Um... Take a sip, okay. And thank you for the skiffkis or for you ergo. Sip. Alright. What was I doing? I have to get you that record. Weird looking tree. <sighs> Nursing Home Museum. Where's the museum? Not oh, TV. Got this TV. Hey guys. See Muster Point. Hello there. Are you Pat Maine from the radio? That's me. And you're the federal agent everyone's been talking about. Would you have time for an interview at some point? Oh, sorry. I'm kind of in a hurry right now. Love your show though. Very informative. Mm, thank you. Never a compromise on quality. That's my motto. We'd be happy to have you on the show any time, me and my listeners. You all should stay out here a while. Until it's safe. I'm happy to get out of that house. Isn't it strange that I've lived in Bright Falls my whole life and I can't remember this building? The house has always been here, Norman. Remember when that poor Nora girl drowned in the bunker? Those Andersons got it so cheap because it's haunted. You get what you pay for. Is there anyone who didn't show up? A few. Artie, Gail, Cynthia. If oh. they aren't here by now, then they aren't coming. It's important to be punctual. On that topic, I'd like to point out that our nightly decaf coffee service is almost half an hour behind schedule. Have any of you noticed anything odd about Ms. Weaver? Just that Tora won't leave the poor woman alone. That brute wants one thing, and one thing only. Cynthia's gotten downright bossy. Take a swim in the pond, Norman. Drink some water, Norman. Well, no one tells Norman MacDonald what to do. Mandy May, are you all right? You're bleeding. Oh, how did that happen? Oh, no, Mandy May. Oh, oh no. Oh, don't be a crybaby, Norman. It's nothing. I just poked my finger knitting this monster of a blanket. Hmm. What's the point of interest, this thing? I think I got all I needed from this.
I need to find out what this museum is. Museum, museum. Trophy room? This, maybe? Oh, it's this. Odin stuck in bed. Odin Anderson stirred in his bed, his vision hazy, smudged. He felt weighted down by an ocean of dark water. Through the haze, he made out Saga. Odin felt useless. He wished he could tell Saga how his silly faces made her smile when she was young, too young to remember. Odin used to joke that Tor was her grandfather, but he was the Allfather. He smiled at the memory. Odin was the kinder of the Anderson brothers. Tor lacked patience, more volatile. The brothers fought a lot, but they were inseparable. Now Tor was missing, dragged into darkness. Odin could feel it. Time was running out for both of them. What's wrong? Museum. Cool. Okay. This is the one. But it's gone. Cynthia has the record. She will tell me where to find it. Cynthia, give me the fucking record, please. Why does she look like a corpse? Cynthia targeted Tor specifically. Why him? Deal with a nasty Anderson fellow. His heart was broken. Cancelled. Leak started appearing. It was too late. Shut her out of her own case. The dark presence is using Cynthia to keep me from talking to Tor. 
Where is Angus Remorse now? He is a young girl in love. A broken brawl twigs it. The shadows to come alive. A gift. An arm of death wish. She has the record. I can get it out of her. Angus Remorse. Where is it, Cynthia? Drowned beneath dark water. Too many hands. The bathroom frightened her. Cut short. She screamed. An old folks care home. The record in the bar. The Angus Remorse record is in Cynthia's room, in her bathtub. Cynthia took the record and I brought it back. Angus Remorse is missing. Who took it? Our shame becomes the pale horse. Oh, Tor, bro. Tor's love for you is in that song. That's why Cynthia wants it, to ruin him. She made Tor lust after her. We fought one scratching hag years ago. Now he's fallen for another, and we might lose him for good. One less Anderson. That isn't going to happen. Cynthia has Tor in the overlap. Angus' remorse is the key to get there. I need to make Cynthia reveal its location. Tor disappeared into the pond. It's another overlap. Has to be. How do I get inside? Alan is wanking. High strobes. The page says the record will open the overlap. Or is the page predetermining it? Am I just playing into the story? A bathtub, a pond, a lake. There's a theme here. Nah. Rose Marigold left these lunch boxes for me. I missed you. Alan Wake apparently told her to. Thanks, Strobes. <laughs> I know it's been a long time, and, uh, look, I'm back. Alright. So... 
I need to... Go upstairs. See what Artie's up to? Hey. Do you know anything about the cult of the tree? Yes, yes. He who reaches for a spruce tree will stumble into a juniper. Bloom was one of them. He has kicked empty. <laughs> I wouldn't want to be in his shoes. But I like his shoes. How did you know Blum was part of the cult? Oh, Fox never runs out of tricks. He's a crazy man, and he will show his ways. <laughs> Bloom like to talk. <laughs> yes, if you have the disc version, yeah. Is Artie, like, a Finnish god? He's got a painting of this fucking guy. <laughs> in here that one doesn't open all right hey I don't think I don't you can play downloaded ps3 games your dad is asking right Wheeler set up a foundation with the sales of their greatest hits album. He used the cash to build a nursing facility. The old men deserved it. An old manor in Bright Falls. No, a PS5 can't play floppy disks. It refitted as an old folks care home. At this point, Wheeler felt good about himself. He had a heart of gold. No need to feel guilty. Wheeler left the work to the contractor and returned to New York City. He had done his part. It was time to turn over a new leaf. The contractors figured out Wheeler was gone for good. They took the money and ran. When the fall rains came, the leaks started appearing. Barry. PS6. Uh, can it play floppy disks? Uh, not that I'm aware of yet, no, sorry. Three million dollars a year sub to stream the PS3 games? Yeah. Why oh, should I upgrade my weapon? heightened survival instinct kicking in. It seemed like she had just squeezed down the trigger of her pistol once as the taken was coming closer. Yeah, they're not for me, you know. The gun kept firing again and again faster than possible. I'm a PC guy now. Pulling the trigger. The taken was momentarily out of action. But not for long. I don't Saga really use my PS5 now that I've upgraded my my um my PC. I go in the swelly room. You fucking No use crying in the dark place. 
what has been has called. But trouble doesn't look like this. You can go to the basement and check the generator. But look out. You can never know in which tree the devil sits. The basement. Thanks. <sighs> yes, my PC can microwave a sandwich. <laughs> I've already had a, a delicious toasted sandwich made in my PC today. Hmm? I'm going to the basement, is that what he said? Fuck, I should have gone to the swirly door first. Um, basement. This way. Where are the stairs? Out oh, the back here. There. Oh, it's better to go around the front. The fuck? Oh. Hey guys. Stop throwing these fucking knives. Jesus! Switch weapon! Please reload the gun. Please reload the gun. Please reload the gun. Please reload. Reload the gun. Reload the gun. I was literally spamming R and it was doing nothing. Sorry, my nose. Um, better heal. I've used four times broken. Yeah, literally just go to Kmart and get one of those Jaffle makers. They, that's all you need. You're sorted. That sucked. Those two fucked me up. Barbecue? Yeah, that's true. Great, it's flooded down here. It's a dead Shit. man as well. I need to get the power back on. Key fob's no good without power. Bro. Kick pedal? Oh, there's all this fucking drum gear down here. Um, note. Remember, buy more fuses. Many more crappy old equipment keeps flowing them. Right. Where are the fuses?
Wheeler used to be the agent of a manic depressive celebrity writer, Alan Wake. Wake had various addictions on his back, and on and off. <coughs> Wheeler had seen a thing or two. Wheeler paid a lot of money for a good shrink. Got himself convinced that all the nightmares he'd seen leading up to Wake drowning himself were just his imagination. PTSD. Now we had pills to keep the shadows from his sleep. But the Andersons were something else. The nightmares were starting to creep in again. Or maybe it was the drugs in the air. Wheeler hoped it was the drugs. The Andersons were so old. Vampires. After every gig in the party that followed... Barry Wheeler. Back. And they never did completely. Each time Wheeler expected them to croak. Is there any more like ammo around here? Can't be opened on this side. Spare fuses now locked away because someone Artie keeps stealing them. Code is in the laundry room. Emmett Elwood had had enough. All his life, he'd been surrounded by the same small-minded, impolite, ignorant people in town. Their endless gossip, their nose-picking, chewing food with their mouths open, not washing their hands after visiting the restroom, touching things, touching everything. The world was going to hell. He'd watched day after day how all the nice things in life in Bright Falls were spoiled and ruined forever. <coughs> there would be a just and terrible reckoning. Emmett had imagined many times how he'd make them pay. He had lovingly tended his anger, made it grow hotter. It was out in the open now. Ugly and slobbering, they reached at him with their unwashed hands. He beat them down, beat them until they no longer moved. And then he'd wash his hands with a strong antibacterial disinfectant. So all this rewriting has been done by the good wake. The right saga into the story. Eh, sounds fine. That's insane. Renowned filmmaker establishes artist commune in the bright in Bright Falls. Code. We need the code from the laundry room. 
Do I have a map for here? Oh, laundry room's just here. Cynthia Weaver had always kept her lantern close. Someone in the bathroom with her. In the dark. Dark water pressed itself into her. She screamed. Cynthia Weaver hated being old. Cynthia Weaver hated being old. She'd been a doer. A fighter. Now the bathroom frightened her. Afraid she'd break. Cynthia Weaver. Is she the light lady from the first game? Oh, I just put that together. Cynthia Weaver's the light lady from the first game. The lantern lady. Uh, 273. Okay. Two seven three. The one is behind me. I'm scared. Thank you. A fuse could come in handy. Is this ammo I missed? No. Thank you for the sip. <sighs> Must be locked from the other side. mind I'm scared right now can you not make fucking sounds like that I'm gonna put the fuse in everything's gonna go insane powers back on stop laughing Ugh. Inventory full. Got too many of these fucking healing items. Could probably um put some of this shit in the in the lockbox. What's this too? Like Sega enemies more often. I'll oh, keep that.
What am I doing? Find Angus Ramal, search Cynthia's room. Is that it? Interest. Yeah, okay, I think we're done down here, right? Is there more shit? I can't force it open. What's this? Is this something they watch on movie night? That looks just like Casey. What the hell is going on? Okay. Be a bad sign. Where's that little tunnel lead? Oh, okay, that's where I came out before. Yo, Ton, yo. That thing. I can't get through this. In there. Oh, I've been in there. Went to Rose. Shut up. I'm gonna go to the swell room first. Could be a bad idea. Hey, Artie. I'm gonna go to the swell room. I can't. Okay. Well. Let me in. The dark presence uses people's memories. Their fears to corrupt them.
Hmm. A down? Was Cynthia into civil engineering? A lantern. That's her from the first game. Was Cynthia using it for protection? Scratched Did out she know face. about the dark presence? A power station. Everyone needs a hobby, I guess. I feel like I'm missing some context here. I know. I'm guessing the woman in this photograph was not Cynthia's <coughs> Sorry for coughing. Tor's a romantic, huh? Okay. Cynthia was close to someone named Thomas Sane. Is he? Tom was back. Tom had enemies. In a fancy hotel. Just his imagination. A nightmare started to creep in. Cynthia Weaver smiled. An old flame. Maybe Tom was taken. Want to go to Elimination Chamber in Perth with me? The wrestling? You're talking about wrestling? True. <laughs> That's crazy. Um... I have no money, but, um, that sounds sick. Who's, uh, who's going to be there? I saw CM Punk came back. Cynthia would deal with the nasty Anderson fellow, Tor, always poking people with his hammer. He had it coming. Maybe Scratch did write a little. Seems kind of. Seems bad. Tor is not becoming a taken, but Cynthia is definitely corrupting him. Trying to keep him away from me? Anger's Remorse by Old Gods of Asgard. I need to play it in the jukebox. Stop. Can you stop doing that? I'm getting better at the jump skits, actually. I want to look in here. Fuck, I can't. Thoughts? What the fuck? Hey! I just punched her! <laughs> okay. I'll just play it then.
The song will show me the way. Look in the mirror, the cobweb of my soul, of my face forever. The overlap is on the end. Yes, this is what I was seeing at the end of uh, the last Alan Wake thing I did. Like, the last, <coughs> you know, the other side of things mission. I wonder if I should be doing these ones first. I might do another one of these next and then go back and do the Alan Wake ones. So much healing. going in circles shit I can see where the loop happens the game stutters slightly it's a bit broken um okay I guess I gotta go backwards Guys, take so much bullets. Power. just disappeared. The light did that? Look at my healing packs. Oh my god. Out of hand. Is it random? Like, loot? Damn, I blew this guy's face off.
back here. It's a loop, like the others. I need to reach the center. Cynthia, she's here. A dead end. Mm. Oh, this is different. Balls. What was that sound? Did you hear that? This area's been a little bit buggy. Developers, if you're listening. A little weird things going on in this area. Nothing? Is there something else in here? Those uh, bolt cutters, dude. Those are gonna be good. Those bolt cutters are gonna be great for me and my career in the bolt cutting industry. So all be the same, I think. Where is key? Oh, 
Oh, what's that? I'm gonna use my bolt cutters at least. All right, let's see what's in here first. What's that? Oh, that's a special whacking stick. Back again. Gotta go deeper. You took Tor. I'm here to take him back. I need to get the lights on to reach him. Okay. Saga. It's so damn dark down here. I'm underwater. She's trapped me at the bottom. Ducky. I don't think I'm gonna make it. Okay. Where are the lights? Some sort of creature in there? That's a long way. Can I make that? Oh, I'll go there. Shadows. 
There must be a way to get the power back on. <laughs> that animation where she like jumped out and disappeared real quick just then. I gotta be quick. Nope. I don't know where to go from here though. Can I kill her while I'm in the water? Let's find out. Shit. Okay. What just happened there? <laughs> Am I out of the water? Right, I think I gotta go in there. Or am I, have I just looped? What is this? Fuck you. Come on. I get up there. Can I climb? Can I just run for it? Fuck it. Go. Come on. Go. to him yourself I'm getting you the hell out of here Shit, she's fucking me up. What's happening to me? What is happening to me? Drink the pills. 
Please drink your pills. Fucking did it, Jesus Christ. <sighs> that was stressful. You again. The FBI. Saga Anderson. I'm closer now. I can feel it. You help me get closer to escaping. Wake. Where are you? Is this coming from the dark place when you were still trapped? We can finish this. Without the clicker. No, 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 you can help. We, we, we must find it. I already have it. I can get it to you. But I have to understand. Did you write Logan into the story? Last in danger. I need to get back. I'm writing a story. It's the only way. Then change the story. If this is the past, if this is you still in the dark place, then you can do that, right? You cannot write her in. She's my daughter, goddammit! Logan is in the story. I can get him to change it. I have the clicker. I'll make him change it now. He had no right to do this to Logan. To my family. Oh, oh, fucking hell. Are you okay? Uh, hey, he took your sweet time to Yo. save your grandpa, huh? Yeah, they're good. Nice attitude. A family trait? Uh, uh, you're right. Sorry. Thanks for helping out an old bastard like me. That's my job. Now, I've got some questions for you. <laughs> of course you do, sweetie pie. <laughs> yeah, that's sick. I haven't played Alan Wake 1 on mouse and keyboard. I only got this one on PC. I think this one feels like it's meant to be played on PC. Yeah, yeah, I'm using mouse. This one's meant to be played on Switch. Graphics are too good, and that's what's wrong with video games. True. Alright. I'm going to continue from here another time, though. Um, it just saved. It just left me here, so. Alright. Thanks for watching. <coughs> Hope you all have a good night. I'm sweating. I need to go turn the aircon on. It's too hot. But yeah, thanks for watching, everyone. See ya, Straub. See ya, Jumbo Scorpion. See ya, Mavi. See ya, Triangle. Hi, Kana. What?
I'll play game, yeah. Let me end stream. Unless you're gonna stream? Okay. Alright, thanks for watching everyone. See ya!